I want to take a chance to welcome everyone to Alan and Zach's wedding. I want to thank everyone that traveled here today to make this a special day for them. I'd especially like to thank our host, uh, Tina and Scott, for providing the wonderful location for us to It's nice to see all the familiar faces and all the new family members that we'll get a chance to know. Since this is my first chance to say a few words about the bride and the groom, I wanted first to say, Zach, how very proud I am to have you for a son-in-law. I've been impressed with your work ethic, your ability to stand by Allison when she's dealing with any situation, and for really being a champion and supporting her goals and dreams. And Allison, I couldn't be happier for you today as I stand here. I know you dreamed about and anticipated and worked hard for this day to happen for all of us here. You've grown up before my eyes into the beautiful young woman that I see before me today. I have a lot of memories etched in my head. Um, the day of your birth, your ever-present smile when you're in grade school, the way you would run out to the driveway and greet me when I came home from work. Your first solo drive home from school in the green van. Your graduations and, and now today. You are strong, determined, creative, caring, sensitive, and probably the best cookie maker I know. <laughs> A lot of you here know that Allie and Jen raised dairy goats growing up. And the goats were really a big part of their childhood. We had goats in the barn and goats in the yard, and, and even during birthing season, we had baby goats in the house. And I got to thinking about this, and it occurred to me that raising dairy goats is really a good way to prepare for marriage. So, to borrow a bit from David Letterman, I came up with the top five reasons, I didn't, I didn't do ten, but I came up with the top five reasons why raising dairy goats is a good way to prepare for marriage. So, number five. You recognize that a goat in the barn at night is much safer than a goat wandering around the dark. Number four, you understand the importance of having clean bedding. Number three, you learn that a goat is excited to see you because they assume you have food for them. Number two, you find out that your goat enjoys going to the fairgrounds as much as you do because they're excited to see their friends and they really love the attention. And the number one reason why raising dairy goats is a good way to prepare for marriage is because hard work, attention to detail, flexibility, and good showmanship skills will win you a blue ribbon. <laughs> On a more serious note, I do have some words of advice. Always remember how you feel about each other today. Be patient with one another. Be ready to forgive faults. Be willing, to be willing to compromise, communicate, take one day at a time, and remember that reality is as big as your dreams. And I came across a quote that seems to fit, and it's this. We come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. And I thought that was a good quote for today. And with that, I'll offer a toast. Allie and Zach, you've graced all of us here with the opportunity to share your first day of married life together. I wish you both a long life filled with love, peace in your hearts, peace in your home, and may every dream you share come true next time. I love you both. Love you.